Okay, so Canada isn't just this great country that makes poutine and maple syrup, they also produce some of the greatest guitars on the planet. Okay, that might be a little bit of an overstatement, but they do make some beautiful guitars, and a lot of Australians don't really associate the Great White North with great guitars. When we think of North American guitars here in Australia, we tend to think of the big three, Martin guitars, Taylor guitars, and Gibson guitars. But I think that's gonna change because over the last few years, Canadian guitars like Seagull guitars have been making their way into the Australian market. So here today I have a Seagull S6 original Dreadnought and the first thing I want to show you guys is the shape of the guitar. It is a Dreadnought guitar but it's not your typical Dreadnought shape. It's got a very unique look from the headstock to the body itself and just for comparison's sake I'm going to bring over my Furk Grand Auditorium and just looking at it on camera, oops sorry I just bumped it there, the Grand Auditorium looks bigger than the Dreadnought and that's something that a lot of Canadian guitars are known for. Now, Larivé guitars, Godin guitars, uh, Simon and Patrick guitars build these dreadnought shapes that are not your typical dreadnought. When you think of dreadnought guitars, you think of the big booming sound that country pickers play, country bluegrass players, country blues players, typically very suitable for, for people that strum very big with a flat pick. But of course, this is great for a flat picker, but it's very versatile and it sounds more like a warm grand auditorium rather than a big booming dreadnought. Okay, so I could rave on about how great the guitar is and you know how gorgeous it is and you know how great Canadian guitars are but the bottom line is why would you choose a guitar from a relatively unknown brand in Australia over your Martins, Cole Clarks, Matins, Taylors, Gibsons, even your Yamahas or Fenders? Well three reasons for me. These are the top three reasons. Well firstly it is so versatile okay and if you're talking about versatility as a musician if you're a traveling musician, a performing musician, whether you're semi-professional or full-time, you don't really want to be carrying five guitars for different purposes, you know. So having a guitar like this, you can pick it up and know that it's going to speak to you, it's going to produce whether you're playing bluegrass, you're using a flat pick, you're playing fingerstyle, you're playing ballads, you're even playing fast folk songs or your rockabilly or, um, you know, <laughs> banjo style music. It's just going to produce and it's just going to get a sound that you can be really proud of both unplugged with microphones like this or plugged in. Of course you can get a pickup version of this. The version I have here today in my studio is unplugged. The next reason is longevity or durability over a long period of time. And the choices of woods when it comes to this Seagull S6 guitar, you just know that they it's going to get better over time. Cedar is known for aging like fine wine. The more you play it, and if you take good care of it, it's going to sound better over time. It's going to open up. It's going to get louder over time. It's going to get warmer. The mid ranges, the trebles, the bass, it's going to balance out quite nicely. Right out of the box, brand new, it sounds gorgeous already. So if it sounds great now, then imagine what it's going to sound like in 5, 10, 15, even 20 years when you've done thousands of gigs and record lots of videos. That's the one thing that I think you can think about um, when you're buying a guitar. How good is it going to sound in 5, 10 years compared to how it sounds now? And this Seagull guitars, you know, with the Canadian woods, we know that Canadian wood choices from cedar to cherry wood and rosewood, they're just known for aging like fine wine. And the last reason, and probably the most important, is value for money. Now, this guitar retails for between 1200 to 1500 Australian, and we can do the conversion rates for American and US um, numbers. The thing is, when you're buying a guitar, it is a long-term investment, and 
Don't get me wrong, your Martins, Taylors and Gibsons, your high-end guitars, when it gets to that range, they're great, you know? And if you spend your four, five, six, seven grand on them, of course, you know, you're gonna be proud to own those guitars. But for a fraction of the price, you could have three of these and you could have three Seagull S6 guitars that have little distinctions, but they're all gonna produce and they're all gonna get the job done and you can have one at home, you can have one out on the stage, and maybe have one for the recording studio. You know, this guitar over time, actually right now and over time, it sounds as good as a $3,000 guitar. You know, of course, a trained musician might look at it and you might really put your ears up against the guitar and go, oh, you know, that $5,000 Martin, it sounds a little bit, you know, it's just got a little bit more um, deep end and high end, but in reality, when you're playing for your fans and your listeners, they're not going to tell the difference. You know, the music is in your fingers; it's not in the guitar. You know, as much as we want the guitar to be the magic, the magic it comes with your hands. So, when you're spending fifteen hundred dollars on a guitar that sounds as good as a three, four, five thousand dollar guitar, I think you can be really, really happy with your choice when you walk out the store and know that you've spent your money very well.